The Halloween forecast is looking okay. Not great, not horrendous. That's good news. And if you're looking for pumpkins, Memorial United Methodist Church, West Avon Road in Avon, they had a delivery of 500 pounds of pumpkins. Unbelievable. All sizes, shapes, textures, colors. And they come from a Navajo reservation in Farmington, New Mexico which is pretty cool. So you're supporting a good local call, well, a good cause, uh, and then they're brought in locally. All right, the, the temperatures for thank, uh, Thanksgiving, I'm rushing things here. Well, we're less than, what are we? Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, 53 to 58 will be the temperature spread for Halloween for trick-or-treating. That's pretty good. That's pretty awesome for uh, the end of October. All right, we got to get there first. We have a wind advisory in effect from 4 p.m. this afternoon through tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. for the immediate shoreline. It's going to get real windy again tonight. We're expecting gusts in excess of 40 miles an hour. It's not quite as bad as the nor'easter, but nonetheless, it's going to get windy again. So hang on to your hats and your steering wheels and your Halloween decorations. Pinpoint Doppler scans the state dry. Good morning, everybody. Old Saybrook looking good. We've got uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies in Hartford with a temperature of 40, 41 in New Haven, but there are some chillier numbers out there. 32 in Litchfield right now, and it's 31 in Salisbury. So it's chilly. There is frost being reported in parts of Northwest Connecticut and Northeast Connecticut. I hope you brought those plants in because we're dropping into the mid to upper 30s. If your plants survived, you're going to want to bring them in by early next week again because we're expecting an even chillier temperature Tuesday into Wednesday. All right, as we take a look at the temperature differential, we're down anywhere from 9 to 10 to 12 degrees cooler than 24 hours ago. The winds are fairly calm, but they're going to be picking up throughout the day today and tonight. So it's a chilly start, becoming mostly cloudy during the day today, and then rain is on the horizon for tomorrow. Let me widen out this shot. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. here, here's your Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just going to move off the coast, intensify, and yet another coastal storm for Connecticut. Here's early warning future cast. Tomorrow's weather today. We stay dry during the day today. We stay dry during the evening tonight. But then after midnight tonight, this is right around 1 a.m., some bounce of heavy rain. Then we get a little bit of a lull tomorrow morning. So if you're looking to run some errands tomorrow morning without the rain, right around 9, 10 o'clock. But here comes that rain again. It's falling on my head like a memory. You know, if you want to dive into the ocean, it's raining there, too. So, baby, talk what? to me. Like <laughs> lovers do. 7 p.m. Saturday. It's pouring. Maybe even some lightning and thunder. Yeah. But here comes Sunday. Here comes Sunday. Sunday morning, partial clearing. And there will be some clouds during the afternoon, maybe a stray shower. But for trick-or-treating, I think mostly dry with partly uh, to mostly cloudy skies. Maybe even a period of clear skies Sunday evening, but that would be nice. And Monday looks good. Daytime highs today in the mid-50s, a cool day today. And it's going to get windy out there. And then your seven-day forecast includes rain tomorrow, drizzle and fog. Yuck. And then uh, Sunday, just a chance for a stray shower in the afternoon, but shouldn't be a big deal. 63 degrees, that's awesome. 64 on Monday, beautiful, a chance for a shower on Tuesday for Election Day. Wednesday looks good. And then Thursday, cool with rain, 47 degrees.